believe stuff. Yes, very, very real, bleh, very real weeb stuff. This episode of fire. It's like the Gojo versus Jogo fight, but more epic. Well, see, I, I'm anticipating this fight a little more because we got two people who aren't experienced within the Jujutsu Kaisen fighting style or the sorcery uh, fighting style. So obviously they're both going to be trying to figure out. I'm assuming they're both going to try to be figuring out how to fight and how to use these these techniques and these powers while they're fighting, which is going to be great, especially like for a shonen. Let's go ahead and watch this episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, I'm hoping there's a lot of action. I'm hoping there's a good amount of action. Not too much dialogue. I don't want no talk, no jutsu in this episode at all. This episode meets my expectation. Like I said, this is the alley oop episode. Last episode was the pass, was the throw up to the uh, to the basket. This one has to be the slam dunk, guys. Wait, so they're already in mid fight? Okay. No jutsu. See, that's what's happening right now. They talking too much. Now they holding hands. What is this? Uh oh. 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 Oh yeah, he's about to call him out. He about to he about to tear him up. Let's go. Let me turn. Wait, turn me up in the headphones. Oh yeah, he going. Ooh. You want to drill him? That God, we game. He just hit him. He just hit him. Fatal blow. Oh, okay. okay. But he don't got some moves. Oh, he ain't got no pupils. You know, he, you know, he's in his power mode right now. He's in his bro form right now. He told that he got him shook. He has some shook? I'm gonna hit him with a super headbutt? Yo, he hitting that soul disfiguration? He hitting that hands disfiguration. Ooh. I feel like there should be, I feel like there should be more. That's it? Like that episode was, that was finally a full episode of fighting. What I've been asking for. That was the best fight ever, but it was it was intense. The action was great. The animation for the fight was great. I loved all the shots that they have in the in the, uh, this episode as well. When it showed like uh, Mahito and Sakuna both laughing at Itadori at the same time, and it was both different colors, and it had Itadori in the middle. That was fire. When Itadori was powering up, going in his Super Saiyan mode, that was fire as well. When he had no pupils, fire. When him and Mahito were actually fighting, fire. The animation with uh, Junpei's jellyfish. Fire! I'm, it was. This was a great. This was. This was a great episode. This was a great episode. Now it's not topping, you know, Gojo. You know, stunting on Jogo. It's not. It's not topping that. But this episode was heat for Itadori. I've been waiting for Itadori to turn up this whole season. And it's episode twelve. It's probably in the middle of the season because you know usually these shonens have like twenty four episodes a season. It, he's finally turning up. It's it's halfway through the season. He's finally turning up. And he has he has great motives for fighting. Obviously, he has a great reason for fighting. And I love when my action has a reason for the action. Like I don't just like mindless fighting. I don't just like you know mindless action. No, the reason for the action I gotta have a purpose for the action. Like I gotta have a reason for people to fight. And this is a perfect reason for Itadori to be tearing up my boy Mahito. Now we gotta really know what Mahito's motives is because he wants Sakuna out. He know that Itadori is the vessel for Sakuna. So I wanna know. I, I wanna know. What's the reason for him wanting Sakuna out? Like, is he gonna try and disfigure him as soon as he gets out? Cause, hey, he tried to hit that idol disfiguration to Sakuna, to his soul. He met up with Sakuna. I wouldn't say face to face, cause he was kind of still down 
towards Sukuna's, uh, the bottom of Sukuna's, uh, his throne. But he was like, hey, like, you touch my soul again, guy. I'm going to come out and I'm going to whoop you myself. And then my boy was shook. My boy was shook and he still took a blow from Itadori. I mean, they was turning up this episode. I'm, this episode was great. This episode was great. I'm sorry. This was a great episode. What you guys think about this episode? What you guys think about this episode?